Hey everybody, welcome to Prepper Junkie. Uh, today we're going to do another video for the ghost on the stove, cooking some fries and chicken strips. Uh, you may wonder why I'm doing this, uh, you know, this isn't like a typical survival prep food. But you know, the reason I'm doing this is I want to demonstrate that how, how versatile that this ghost on the stove is. Um, have you ever, you know, kind of wondered what would happen if you have a power outage for two, three days? You know, how would you cook the, the food that's in your freezer? You know, if you don't have your oven working, you may have a grill um, or something like that. You could cook some of your food on, but with this, you know, you don't need any. You don't need any energy except from the sun. You know, or any fuel. Excuse me. You don't need any fuel uh, at all to to uh, to use this. So, I wanted to see how well this does with just normal freezer food. Um, uh, you know, in case you, as you say, you have to use that food. So, typically, uh, that food normally takes about uh, 20, 20 to twenty-five minutes in a four hundred degree oven. Um, I haven't preheated this at all, I've just put this in. I'm going to check back in any 20 to 25 minutes to see how we're doing, uh, to see if it's cooked. And, and just to so give you an update on the kind of the weather, it's breezy, it's 85 degrees, uh, it's a hot day. Um, it's pretty clear skies, uh, a few clouds out. But um, yeah, we'll check back and see how this does. Alright, so it's been about 25 minutes. Uh, let's open this up and see how we're doing. They are almost done. So I'm going to put these back in and come and check in another 5 10 minutes, but they're very close. All right, so it's been about 35 minutes. Um, I've let this uh, be out here, so let's check to see if it's done. Fries are cooked. Well, yeah. Chicken is cooked. So there you go. You know, so if the power goes out, for whatever reason, um, you know, this can cook whatever food it is in your freezer. Um, so let's take about 35 minutes. Um, now that's typically about 10 minutes longer than it takes in a normal oven. But here's a little factor. My oven takes probably... I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to heat up, you know, and so when you add that onto the cook time, this still cooks this food, you know, heats up and cooks the food faster than my oven. When, you know, all in all, as I say, you preheat the oven up to 400 degrees, throw in the food, you know, another 20, 25 minutes, and this, as I say, I, th I didn't, no preheating, I threw this out here, threw the food in, and, uh, and 35 minutes later, this is all cooked. So, there you go. All right, so there you go. So the ghost on stove, power goes out. This is what you need. Have a good one, folks.